Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So now we have episode two of Star Wars Resistance. This is this show is completely new to me, so I'm looking forward to getting into it. I really enjoyed the first episode and I am super excited to see more of Niku, who is my favorite character already. Like, I'm very easy to pick up on favorite characters. And as soon as Niku spoke, I was like, oh my God, I love him so much. Um... He feels very relatable as a neurodivergent person who is suspected of autism. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, he's very relatable, I will say. Um, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but immediately, as soon as he, like, as soon as he spoke, I was like, oh my god. I'm going to relate to this character so much. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see more of him. Kaz seems like a pretty cool character as well. And uh, we've got BB-8 with us now, so that's quite fun. So yeah, let's get into the episode. I am trying to help you, Kaz, to prove that you truly are who you claim to be. The best pilot around this platform. But I never said that. It was, it's, it's just, it's a Make your dream reality then. Always wanted. Then this is your chance to make that dream come Exactly. True. I don't think it works like that, Niku. I can't get my own life on track. How could I possibly help you? Okay, mood. <laughs> you have a common dream. You want to be the best? I Who knows? You might become a star around here, or you might go out in a ball of fire. You're either going to be laughed at or laughed with. Who knows? I love, like, the range of different, like, creatures and races and stuff in, in this in the lead wow he is fast yeah well if tech was here tech would be all of them just saying i mean he does look pretty badass not gonna lie hey it's me I don't want to know him. <laughs> There's that phrase again. I never said gnome galaxy. Kaz, 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 Well, Kaz, Kaz, you get, Kaz, Kaz. You get to pick the racer. Oh, the one in the middle looks very scary, but in a good way. Freya Fenris. Oh, he's going to choose her. I'll be fine. She's gonna be like top tier, isn't she? Was that bad? Tell me that wasn't bad. Uh oh. Kaz's odds of winning now are 387 to 1. The odds of him exploding into tiny bits of debris, 2 to 1. Drowning and getting eaten by fish. I'm in fault of that one. But run those numbers for me, will you, Glitch? Glitch. I like Glitch. I mean, I don't need to have a ship. You have a ship you can use. You get the fireball. 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 That fast. Yeah, fast to explode. <coughs> it's called the fireball because it has this habit of bursting. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. The name makes sense. Or shift or steer or land. What? <laughs> Even when you land? Occasionally, yes. Sometimes. It's actually a good ship if we yeah, have time pessimistic to beeps. We can make it ready. I love the I way that can. they describe the droids. <laughs> like excited beeps. Nervous beeps. Pessimistic beeps. That's the fireball? Okay, yeah, that looks like, looks like a heap like of junk. With wings. Bolts, some laser cutting, little paint, touch up the gloss. <laughs> Niku like This is gonna take a lot of work. Fuck it. Oh no. Back off, you box of bolts! Right bucket. The name fits him perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh god. Dude, I why have I not watched this show before? This is great. Alright. Wow. That's a lot of parts. Oh, <gasps> it's hey, her. Everyone. Hello. Oh, She's cute. Hello, I love her outfit. Never see you down here. Competition good Wait, this is dangerous. Dude, Sabine would love her. Oh, her droid is so cute too. Good to know. Don't worry. Oh. I want to cosplay her. Oh no. Nobody survived racing against me, but who knows? Bye. Bye. 
Cora's the daughter of Captain Doza, who runs this whole place. Oh. That makes your chances of winning slim as they are nearly impossible. Yeah, but that's not good. That means you think I still have a chance, right? Eh. A slim chance. Eh. Don't be a hot shot. Hello, Flix. Hello, Orca. Uh, hey, Nico. What can we do for you? We are here to obtain parts for one of Yeager's ships. It's not the fireball, is it? Well... Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Yeager's paying for all this stuff, right? Do you have his credit disc? Yeager's credit disc? Uh, 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 of course <laughs> not. You are the pilot. You will have to pay for these parts. What? Me? He laughs like hey? me too. But I, lo I lost all my money. I don't have any more credits. Help us. Look, B, we can, please. Uh, we could give you some second-hand parts, I suppose, you know, but they're uh, they're not worth much. But uh, just go grab us some lunch, okay? How about That's a good deal, honestly. You know, like, and, I'll and give you this, you give me food. <laughs> thank you, friend Orca. Thank you. Oh. One gourd coming right up. There's so many goodles in this. I am so happy. I'm gonna love these, aren't I? You oh. are the best pilot in the galaxy. <laughs> Me? Huh? Me? Hi. No. I just got here. No, he is right, Kaz. It's the guy you threw darts at, remember? <laughs> I knew it. How about you give me a gourd now, and I'll put your logo on my racer. That way, if I win, <laughs> you win, because your business will be booming. Okay, okay, I like it. Deal. <sighs> you ever have a problem because these things are just so cute? Who wants to eat them? I mean, look at you so cute. It's gonna eat them. Yeah. <laughs> they are so adorable. Oh, is there plushies of these? I need them. I need a hundred. Oh, even when I do something right, I do it wrong. He tried his best, bless him. See, it's always the droids that come to your aid. They're like, oh, they're feeling sad. I'm gonna go help. I thought I could handle anything. Never gave me a choice. Emotional support droid, we love it. <laughs> oh my god, that ship is a mess. Oh my god. <laughs> right here on the other end of this comp. Of course, she has a five symbol on her thing as well. Oh, it's always the ones with the five. Always one with the Orabesh five on them somewhere. Four. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a fashionable start, let's say. Yeah, I'd say take your time. Don't push that ship. Oh, he's getting too cocky. Don't be silly. She's good, but I'm better. We'll see about that. She's gaining air. See, I have faith in him, but I also kind of partly don't want him to win. At least not his first race. Go, Kaz. At least make it to the finish line. Eager, you were right. I didn't back off soon enough. Oh, shit. Not good, not good. You should have listened. Well, at least they helped him. I guess, and then just leave him the drone. What? With barely a scratch. Mm -hmm. You truly are an amazing pilot, Kazuda Ziono. I... I oh? No, you definitely didn't. I just want to thank you. Without your help, I, I would have gotten thrown over the side. Head first. It's a tough place. 
The scenery's pretty. Oh, Poe and I go way back. I trust his judgment, and as a favor to him, I'll give you a place to stay. Aw. You can work as a mechanic on my team, earn your keep like everyone else. Oh, we're back to the red TIE fighter again, huh? Oh my god, every time I see those fucking ships, I will always get goosebumps. Especially coming out of hyperspace. Von Rag. Inform Captain Phasma. Phasma! Phasma! Do we get to see Phasma? Oh my god, Starkiller base. Oh. See, I had no idea how much was in this show. Like, I know, like, what era it's set in, but I didn't think we get to see Starkiller Biz. What? That's so cool. And Captain Phasma? Are we gonna get to see Phasma? Is it gonna be Gwendolyn? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love... This is my thing. It's like, Phasma was so underused and so underappreciated, and I think that she deserves the world, and I'm so down to see more of her. If she's in this, I'm gonna be obsessed. Like, that's gonna be incredible to see. Um... I yeah, that was another good episode. This this show is not disappointing me so far. Um, I can definitely get used to this. I can definitely get through this 100%. The characters are great. The designs are great. And I'm kind of excited to see where we go with this and to see if we manage to find if there is a First Order spy or what's going on here. I'm excited to see more of the First Order, um, you know, with like the Red Tie Fighter and Captain Phasma potentially. And that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. I wonder if Hux is going to be in it. I don't know. I don't. I literally, I knew that Poe was going to be in it, but I didn't know, you know, any other characters. So it's going to be interesting to find out where we're going to go with this. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out more of my uh, channel, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.